Hi, I'm going to use your TI-30 calculator to introduce percents. Your percent key is located right above a parenthesis key. It's right here. So anytime you need to use your percent key and function key, you'll need to press the second button first. One of the awesome things your calculator can help you with is convert a number like 52% to a decimal and then to a fraction. Okay. So let's enter 52%. 52, 5, 2, the second key, and then the percent option. That's what it looks like on your screen. When you press equal, the decimal equivalent automatically shows up. So 52% is the same as 0.52. Now, if you want to convert this to a fraction, you'll press the second button and your fraction to decimal command. See, that's what your calculator is asking you to do. Press equal, and 52% is also the same as 13 over 25. Okay. That, hopefully, will save you a lot of time. Okay. One of the other things your calculator can do is take mixed numeral percentages. This is what I'm talking about. You have 13 and 1 sixth percent that needs to transfer over to a decimal. Use the same procedure, only this time we'll need the help of our fraction key. 13, fraction button, 1, fraction button, 6, percent key, second, and percent. Now the decimal equivalent is about 0.132. You can also change this to its actual fraction equivalent. Pressing the second button, and the F to D command, 13 and 1 sixth percent is the same exact value of 79 over 600. Now that saves a lot of work. The last thing I want to introduce is finding things like sales tax or commissions. Okay. Let's say we're buying an item that costs $325.75. The sales tax rate on that is 9.25 or 9 and a quarter percent. The way you'll enter this into your calculator is using also your multiplication key. So we'll have $325.75 75 cents times 9.25 second percent. Press equal and the amount of sales tax on this $325.75 item is about $30.13. To find the complete amount for that that $325.75 item, you just simply add the two of them together. So the original cost of the item plus the amount of your sales tax gives you $30.13.
Now if you didn't want to do that by hand, you could simply use your addition key and equals. Okay. I hope this video helped you work through the majority of your percent problems efficiently.